Wayne Lyons is obsessed with aeroids. These showy, largely warm climate plants are much loved indoors and out. But there's so much more to this diverse and intriguing family of plants. And as for Wayne, well, he really has taken collecting them to another level entirely. I went to North Queensland. I became addicted to plants. I was bitten by a subtropical bug. I came back to see a doctor. He said, there's no cure. Best thing I can suggest is treat the symptoms. Let's go to a nursery every weekend, develop a friendship with a network of people that love plants, and that will give you some assistance, and I hope you've got plenty of money. So from there on, it sort of got worse. Wayne runs a nursery and garden south of Brisbane, which houses one of Australia's biggest aeroid collections. So let's scrub up on our botany. What exactly is an aeroid? An aeroid is part of the Aracea family. Uh, people will know them as, for example, philodendrons, monsterias, raffidora, caladiums, for example, which are very common. And I've got a couple of examples here. This is Alocasia macariza, which often is referred to as elephant ears. Many, many of the aroids are referred to as elephant ears. Another beautiful example which people will be aware of is Monsteria deliciosa. It's a classic garden plant. So really, as a group, these are perennials and they grow either on the ground, up a tree, or on a tree. Yes, very much so. This is a fabulous display. Do you have any favourites? Terry, this is Philodendron martianum. Absolutely beautiful plant, squat, little size of the leaves. Beautiful long centre, big fat petioles. And hence, unfortunately, it's called Fat Boy, a name I don't like. It's happy in a border. How, how about a container? Perfect. Yeah? Absolutely perfect. Raised container, coloured, give us some strike. Marvellous in the backyard. Here is an anthurium. Wow, that's a big anthurium. It's anthurium delicatiaceum, often seen around the Cairns area. It grows much, much larger in the tropical area. But by the end of summer, these leaves will be as tall as I am. Another beautiful plant which has had a name change. Right. Previously called Alocasia Hilo Beauty. It's now being classified as a species Caladium. Still given the name of Hilo Beauty, okay. but absolutely beautiful foliage, almost um, army reserve sort of That's colours. That's a wonderful pattern. Over here is Philodendron warsawissii. Got smashed in a storm recently, but has come back with all the vigour that you want to see in a tropical plant. Now that's growing up a pole. Yes, I need to actually put felt around that pole and tie the plant to it so the aerial roots will actually feed off that pole and it'll become quite long. So it's got something to grip to? Not only grip to, but also feed off. So those aerial roots provide structure, they provide support, but they also provide a nutrient enriched feeder to the rest of the plant. Okay, so you don't just feed at the roots, you feed the leaves and the stems Correct. as well. Correct. Now, can you tell me, why do they have these holes in their leaves? Well, okay, we refer to them as fenestrations. But so windows. Windows. Okay. okay. So as the plant matures and grows, these leaves get bigger. And as we're experiencing at the moment with this wind fluttering through, it allows the air to pass over the leaf and through the leaf, and you don't have this twisting on this very small and tight petiole. So it's an adaptation to the environment and it helps to cool the leaves? Very much so. We refer to it as Swiss cheese, but it has a purpose in the plant itself. One of the advantages of southeast Queensland is that its subtropical climate allows aeroids to thrive outdoors and Wayne has created a perfect home for them. What inspired you to create this wonderful living wall? Well, one of the problems I have, Jerry, with these plants is we never see them growing as they should. We often go to nurseries and we buy these plants in pots and we spend the rest of our life trying to keep them alive. This is how they grow in nature. All I've done is replaced the substrate of a tree with a felt material, which has allowed the aerial roots to grow under the felt and the plants are prospering, as you can see. 
what is it about aeroids that drives Wayne and so many other gardeners and collectors to distraction and has made them a social media sensation? Well, I'm going to look at some of the rarer and more unusual plants in his collection to find out. These are a couple of the most beautiful plants I have amongst many. This is philodendron called Versiconia. Has a beautiful sheen to the leaf. It does, and the actual veins. And you don't really appreciate the whole characteristics of the plant until you actually look behind. And when you look behind, you can actually see. Oh, yes. Vericosum is actually beautiful. And this hairy petiole. Yes. Which is quite unique to it. This one here is a beautiful philodendron called Black Knight. And that is a lovely. Very beautiful. dark. I've actually got it even darker than that. This is Monsteria deliciosa borsigiana variegata. And this is quite special because there is no other leaf than one white leaf. What a curious plant. Oh, wow, there's even more. Yes, Jerry, this is the huh. second part of my nursery. This particular plant here is Philodendron Brazil with an S, no Z. An absolutely striking plant, a very good vine. Greens and another sort of lighter green. Absolutely beautiful. And that's a climber? Yeah, very much a climber. So this is a plant called Philodendron Whippleway. It's very delicate and every single leaf is different. Yes. Florida Ghost. Absolutely amazing plant. Pure white leaves. As they mature, the leaves will actually turn green and they will support the plant's growth, photosynthesis, and as we have more leaves coming through, they'll be white, fading to green, various colours of green. Magnificent plant. If you're looking for a tropical feel in your home or a show-stopping addition to your garden, aeroids are the perfect plant. And if you'd like to know more about how to get your aeroids growing at their absolute best, visit our website for some exclusive top tips. And as for Wayne, he really is most at home when he's busy in this amazing place. It is just so therapeutic, absolutely therapeutic. And every time I come, I see something different. Whether it's a scrub turkey digging a hole, and I get that, or a beautiful plant with a new leaf coming, it's just so exciting, absolutely exciting.